Good afternoon, Burr Crew Studio fans, or Burr Crewians, I like to call everybody. Um, so, another episode here of Seven Days to Die. Uh, what we're going to do now is I'm trying to scope out a spot that I'm going to build a, what I refer to as a kill cube. Um, no way our, bo our current base right now can withstand that. And if you notice, we've got some... Um, We've had some upgrades to the base. We had uh, a few slight catastrophes, if you will, um, around the base-wise. Uh, we've kind of recovered from us. Why you see a huge day a day difference on the screen? So I'm not going to go into that right now. But let's just say it was uh, kind of a big setback. So let's go out here and let's see if we can pick a spot. Now. You've probably heard them call different things, different places. There's horde towers, kill uh, kill cubes, um, all kind of crazy names for some of this stuff. So I like calling it a kill cube. Um, that sounds kind of morbid, but oh, this looks like a good spot as any. So why don't we do this? Let's take get my frames out. I don't need the wrench right now. Let's just kind of lay this out. So, one. Grass. I hate grass. Two, three, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. One, two, three. Nope. One, two, three, four. Five, six, okay, pull that one up, kind of flatten this out, let's see, get this nice and flat, okay, pull all these up here in the middle. Now what I want to do is I want to make the floor the same height. So we're going to dig this out. Probably a little overkill, but I want to make sure that none of them get caught on the uh, on the way in. Well, shit. When I'm doing this, and I got to be fairly speedy about this because tonight is a horde night. And I'm going to build just the bottom of this thing straight out of wood. I don't see a need for... I may upgrade it to one level of iron. We'll have to see. But this is where we're going to start until we get... Because the other thing, too, is we are in the process of moving bases. Okay, so let's get these. So let's get all these laid in. Do a little bit of upgrades you need to there. Okay, get that in there. That, that, that that. Do the upgrade in the corner because I won't be able to get to it. And then I'll fill this in. So the purpose of this is is that every night when there's a horde night, um, and I have to say horde because my six-year-old was in here the other day, and she heard me say horde, and she asked me, Daddy, what's a horde night? And I almost lost my shit trying to get her to say the word correctly so I have to be careful when I say it so um, but this is used for horde night um, it's mainly a way to not have your base get completely wrecked and it's another way to uh, to do horde that makes it kind of I hate to say easier but but to me it just it just makes things better I don't have to focus on worrying about my base getting destroyed because without that, without it producing resources, I've got issues. So we're going to get try to get the as much of this done as we can before Horde Night. I think I've got most of the resources already cooked up, but if I have to cook some more, then we'll cook some more. Um, we get this floor in, get all this upgraded up, and we're going to put... Um, ramps on the side to make it easier for them to get in. 
have to keep an eye out because it's morning time. It's early, and there's always the uh, the roaming herd now. So, and on this server, the roaming horde is about 25 or so, and I've seen it where sometimes there are multiple roaming hordes. Um, not really sure why that is. Maybe I'll have to talk to Kick and see how we uh, set it up. And probably a bunch of you guys are still wondering, well, Censored, why are you still using a hammer? Um, frankly, for two reasons. One, it's probably what I've used the entire time I've been playing Seven Days to Die. And it is... I don't have a nail gun. We may have got one already, but... Okay, so that's all level. That's going to be one level there, one level there, two levels here, two levels here. Get that flat, take that off. Okay, so let's get some ramps. Uh, let's take, we'll put that there. I don't need that right now. So we will get the ramps down here. And I'm making them, oh, shh. There we go. And essentially what this is going to do is going to make it easier for them to, the zombies to crawl up. You know what? I'm going to dig that out right there. I just put a ramp in. There we go. I don't understand the the, the way this game treats um, the environment. Because I'm in the desert in the morning, freezing. Sorry, it makes no sense to me. Okay, so, oh, come on. Don't turn on me. There we go. That. 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 Get the grass out of there. Grass is gone. Eh, I gotta get all the grass around this thing. Okay, so time to put on this, and I will probably overheat. So let me get the grass out of here. Grass is also going to make it easier to see. And I know, guys, this is boring. Um, but just trying to get as much as I can. Because it's already 6.30 in the morning. See, grass prevented me from doing that. Oh, crap. I'm going to have to make some modifications. Because I forgot when I did my... Oh, thought I heard one. Nope, nothing. Just my paranoia. Jesus. Um, more grass. Damn the grass. Grass go, grass go. Okay. So get this to a point where we can say, yes, they can get up on there. No issues. But I've got to get me a nail gun. Because I know the nail gun works a lot faster. Okay, so the ramps are there. Now let's get the corner pieces in. Corners in. You know what? That's easier to do that. Corners in. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, I need that, and I need two more ramps. Okay. So let's upgrade this. Now let's get my ramps. Oh, come on. Twisty, 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 twisty. Oh, you bastard. 
I clicked through it. And did it again, three times in a row. Holy Christ. Slow down, don't get in a hurry, don't get antsy. There we go, okay, so now upgrade all this. Upgrade that. Upgrade that. Now get the other one here, corner. Okay, so that's done. Now what I gotta do is where this is where I screwed up. So I gotta chop out these here because these are gonna be concrete. And my last one I built, I built a little bit wider and I had stability issues from the physics. So I decided to do a little bit smaller platform. Okay, so now what we got to do is get the concrete in place. So we'll drop all that. Drop all that. Get it upgraded. One. 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 And one. And we'll go ahead and drop these in place. Okay, so now let's see. One. Two, three, four, five. Oh, that's my journal. Nope, don't need that. Need this. Put that there. Because what I don't want to do is drop off this thing and kill myself. Or drop off this thing and uh, probably what I need to do is just nerd pole up. Okay, so drop my concrete to three. Four, five. We'll connect this across. Get these down. Build my other one right here. Okay, I thought I heard something burning. And it's just rain. Too high up. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. And now I'm overheating, which is what's supposed to happen when you're in a freaking desert. So take that off. Okay. Grab those. Go down there. Get my frames over here. So get my concrete. One, one, two, three. Four, five, okay, so we got all that, now let's get all this upgraded so it'll dry. Okay, got all that, now that'll dry. Now I'm going to have to go back over. I have to get the top ones done up there. Okay, I need some iron and steel. So let's run back over to the base. Queue up some steel, because I'm going to need to upgrade all that to steel just to make sure I'm good. Plus I'm going to need some... Uh, some other grates and stuff too, so I'm gonna need to queue up some iron. I need another forge. That's probably what I need to do is create another forge so I can do that to be a little bit more efficient. Because that is what I'm not doing well right now. Okay, so concrete is still going. That's got six minutes. Okay, so put this over here. Concrete there. Yeah, I need more iron. Do I have any around here? Nope. Ah! Nail gun! Hmm. Okay. I'm going to give it a shot. 
Take the claw hammer, put it there. We'll see what the nail gun can do. I need iron. Is there any iron around here? Oh, iron. Okay, so what we'll do here, we'll just kill that. And let's do iron. Okay, that's four minutes. I need steel. Four steel. I need 100. Okay, let's see what I got over here in regards to forged steel. None there. Okay, I got 49. Put that in there. I'm going to need some forged iron too. Blast it. Rebar frames. Okay, let's go see. We'll come back and check on that in just a minute. Damn, it's 10 already. Shit. Time flies when you're running from zombies. Hindsight being 2020 on, I probably should have put this closer. But I want to try to keep it as far away from the base as I could. So, um, what I'll do is. Cause I think this episode probably will run a little bit long. Um, wow, I got 24 nails in it. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. We'll do another. I'll pick up the next episode of, of where we are with this one. So, um, so guys, again, we're uh, we're doing more with Seven Days to Die now, trying to make sure that we have. Oh, there's a deer. Look at there. Come here, Mr. Deer. I'm gonna eat you. Stop running, friggin' Bambi. And I missed. Jesus. Got him. So what we're trying to do with Seven Days to Die is really start making the series that we. Um, we needed to and uh we're gonna do that now so um if you got any questions comments concerns please leave them down in the uh, comment section below um if this first time you're watching uh Berkru studios please hit that like and subscribe button we uh, we need your feedback need your input and uh until i see you in the next video um stay frosty my friends survival is a bitch and you got to keep doing it talk to everybody later peace